Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Autumn Stroll Coffee Cozy. This is made with chunkier yarn. It's very cozy and beautiful fall colors. And we've incorporated the linen stitch in stripes, so it really shows off all the colors really nicely. And I'm going to spin it around. It also buttons. So you can button it together. It has a little loop and I've included a fall leaf button on mine. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a 6.5 millimeter K crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and a button of your choice. We're gonna stick to kind of the fall theme. I had this little maple leaf button here. And then the yarn. You may recognize this color combination from the Nature Walk tote, and I will link up that pattern in case you'd like to make yourself a matching tote as well. Uh, this is Lion Brand Lion's Pride Wool Spun Yarn, and it recommends the K Crochet Hook. So if you will be substituting yarn, just look for something that recommends a K Crochet Hook, the 6.5 millimeter hook on the yarn label. This is the mahogany, the aquamarine, the fisherman, and the honey, in case you're uh, looking for these colors as well. So let's get started. The Coffee Cozy is worked flat and then buttoned closed. So we're gonna be working this project flat. So we're gonna begin, you can select any color you like, and we're going to be doing one row of each color. And if you would like to do a different combination, obviously feel free to do that. You could do two rows of each color. You could make it all in one color. It really depends on what kind of yarn you have. Um, this is the linen stitch that we'll be using. And if you do decide to do kind of a striped pattern, the linen stitch really comes to life when you use lots of colors or even variegated yarn. Okay, so we're gonna begin by putting a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your crochet hook, and bring up a loop. We have a starting chain of 12 for our Coffee Cozy. So wrap the yarn around the hook to make a chain and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. So here is our starting chain. And again, this is called mahogany in case you're wondering. Okay, so if you wanna change the height of your uh, coffee cozy, just use an even number of chains for the linen stitch. So let's begin row one. For row one, we're going to work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. This loop here does not count, so count one and two. We're gonna work a single crochet right into that chain. So insert your hook into the chain and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook and bring it through both loops. The single crochet stitch, okay? Next, we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the next chain, and in the chain after that, we're going to work a single crochet. So insert your chain into your hook into the chain and bring up a loop. Wrap yarn around hook and bring it through both loops. We've just created a little space. When we turn our work and begin the next row, we'll work our stitches into that space. So we're creating some spaces to work the next row of stitches, okay? So chain one, skip the next chain. In the chain after that, work a single crochet. We're just gonna do this all the way across. Chain one, skip the next chain in the chain after that. Work a single crochet. Get some more yarn. Chain one in the chain after that. Skip the next chain in the chain after that. Work a single crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain, and in that very last chain, work a single crochet. just like that. So row one is complete. 
Okay, like I mentioned before, we're gonna work one row of each color. If you don't wanna switch colors this often, you can stick with this color for a few rows and then switch. So go ahead and cut the yarn and fasten off. Now there's lots of ways to join uh, new yarn onto a row. I'm gonna be just cutting it off and tying it right on, okay? But definitely feel free to do whatever you like. We're gonna pick our next color. I'm gonna pick this aquamarine color. And then we're going to insert our hook into this last stitch that we worked and bring the new yarn through. These are such wonderful fall colors. I couldn't resist using this color combination again. So again, if you wanna do that nature walk tote, these, this will match. Okay, so we have our new yarn, we have our tails. You can either weave these in as you go or weave them in at the end, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna let them fall down and out of the way for now. Okay, so we're gonna work row two. So to work row two, insert your hook back into that stitch where we tied the yarn on, and chain one, and then turn. Okay? So we're going to work a single crochet in the first single crochet. So at the very beginning, there's a single crochet stitch right there. We're going to work a single crochet right into that stitch. Okay? Then we're gonna come up to this first chain one space that we created in the last row. Go ahead and work a single crochet into that chain one space as well. We get a little bit more yarn. Okay, next we're going to, this will set up our row. Next we're going to chain one, and then you can see the single crochet we worked in the previous row. We're gonna skip over that and then work a single crochet into the space. We're not working into the stitches, we're working into the spaces. Okay, so right into that chain one space from the previous row, so you can see it creates little holes across, work a single crochet right into there. Okay, just like that. Next, we're going to chain one, then work a single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, work a single crochet into the next chain one space, chain one, work a single crochet into the next chain one space, and then that last single crochet of our row, we're going to work a single crochet into that single crochet as well to finish off the row, just like that. Now you can see the linen stitch allows the rows to kind of blend together. They sort of interlock like a puzzle. It's a very pretty stitch, okay? So let's work row three. I'm gonna cut the yarn again. You're gonna have lots of tails if you don't weave them in as you go, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna leave them alone for a minute. Okay, let's switch to a new color. We're gonna do this cream-colored fisherman yarn. Okay, so just Tie it right on, again, if you have a different way. Some people like to join with a slip stitch. Some people leave that last stitch only half worked and join it in that way. I just like to tie it right on. So go ahead and tie it on the way you like to do it or rejoin it the way you like to join it, okay? So let's do row three now. So insert your hook back into that last stitch where you tied the new yarn, bring up a loop and chain one. Then we're gonna turn our work, and we can just get these tails out of the way for now. Okay, work a single crochet into that first single crochet stitch. Wrap yarn around hook, and bring it through both loops to work that single crochet. Next, we're going to chain one, and then we're gonna skip over this single crochet, same way we did before. And in that chain one space from the previous row, we're gonna go ahead and work a single crochet right into that like that okay chain one work a single crochet into the next chain one space from the previous row chain one work a single crochet into the next chain one space chain one work a single crochet into the next chain one space just like that 
coming up to the end of the row here, then chain one. And sometimes this little turning chain can kind of get a little bit smushed, but you might wanna have to pick it up a little bit. So we chain one, then we're gonna work a single crochet into that last single crochet, that chain, that space that we created at the end of the row, just like that, okay? So our, our little coffee cozy is really coming together nicely. So to finish your coffee cozy, you're just gonna repeat rows two and three over and over and over again until it's as big enough to wrap around the cup. Now you can wrap your coffee cozy around a mug or one of those um, cups you get at the coffee shop um, or a favorite uh, cup that you like. So we're just gonna keep repeating rows two and three until our coffee cozy is as big as uh, you need it to be to wrap around the particular cup you're doing. Um, I'm going to work a few more rows and then we're going to rejoin and I'm going to show you how to finish this off but also how to add the edging and this loop that we need to make in order to attach our button. Okay? So I just worked rows two and three over and over again until the piece was about nine inches long and this is kind of the size, the larger size you get at the coffee shop. Um, but if you have a different size cup that you wanna do, just work more or less rows depending on the size. So I just threaded my tapestry needle and I'm just gonna weave these ends in as I go along here. I just had one end left. I did some other weaving um, before we rejoined because I had a lot of ends to weave in, but um, just get all the ends woven in. The next thing we're going to do, we're gonna put a, an edge, like a border, all the way around, and we're gonna add a little loop to one end for our button, because our piece is going to be buttoned closed, okay? So what we're gonna do, you can pick any of the colors from your striping, and then this fabric that we've created is reversible, but if you have a favorite side you'd like to use, definitely feel free to do that. So you're just gonna take the same size K hook that we've been using all along, the 6.5 millimeter, and then just tie into one of these corners here, any corner you like, because we're gonna go all the way around the edge. And this is gonna kind of clean up the, um, I wouldn't say it's lumpy, but it'll give it a nice straight edge, because when you wrap it around the cup, you'll see this nice straight framed in edge, and it really frames these stitches in nicely. So what we're gonna do is just join, I'm gonna use the blue, you can use any color you like. Just gonna join the yarn, just tie it right on, and then we're just gonna work a single crochet all the way around. So insert your hook back into that stitch that you just tied the yarn into, bring up a loop and chain one, just like that. Now this little tail we can weave in as we go. Now we're gonna work down the sides, and that's a little bit tricky, when you work along the top, you're working into chains or stitches and they're clearly defined. When you work along the edge here, you just wanna try and get a single crochet into each one of these rows. There's no uh, specific way to do this, but just try and get one into, for example, like the white, the blue, this mahogany color, the honey color. Just try to get one into each row and try to get um, at least two loops on the hook when you insert into the into the area. We're kind of working in the sides of these stitches, okay? So go ahead and work into the first one, which for me is this dark brown color. Work a single crochet. Now we have this blue, a single crochet. Next row, just try to work one single crochet in the sides of each one of these rows, okay? All the way down that's gonna get your edge nice and straight. Okay, we're working right into the sides of our rows here. Okay, I'm gonna continue down to the bottom. Okay, let me just show you what we've done so far. See how it gives a nice clean edge like that? And we're gonna go all the way around. I'm gonna go down to this first corner down here and show you how to round the corner. We're gonna add a couple extra single crochets so that it won't draw up on the sides, okay? So I'm gonna continue down and we'll rejoin towards the bottom here. Okay, so I just came down the side and then in the corner here, we're going to work three single crochets to do the corner. 
right in that same stitch. So one, two, and three. And that's gonna create, we're gonna round that corner just like that, okay? So now, let's do the little loop that is gonna go around the button. So just come about halfway in. Now, you can count the stitches or just kind of eyeball it. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, so we're just working right in there. Just like that. Okay, just working them all the way across to about the middle. So let me back up. I think I'm not there. Okay, here we go. Okay, so just Okay, so work to about the middle, just like that, okay? Now chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six to make a loop. Like that, okay? Now if you have a big button, then make more chains. If you have a little button, make less chains, but six was about what I needed to get my, my little leaf button through. Now. Once you've made your six chains, go back into that same place where you did that single crochet, that same area, and work another single crochet so it meets and there's no gap. See that? Now we have a little loop for our button. Okay, just keep working across. Single crochets all the way across. Until we get to the corner again. Okay, so we're at the, the corner, so work three single crochets in that corner. So that was one, two, and three. So this is what the bottom, or the, the side, I guess you could call it, is gonna look like of our coffee cozy, okay? We now have a button loop, okay? So we're just gonna keep going across, work single crochets all the way across, work three in the corner and come back down. Same way we did all the way around. And then once we get towards the end, we'll join and I'll show you how to do that, okay? Okay, I'm just uh, finishing off the round, the edging round that we did, and I'm just gonna join with a slip stitch to close the round, okay? So I'm gonna trim and we're gonna fasten off. And then we'll want to weave this tail in at the end, okay? So just thread your tapestry needle. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add the button, okay? So keep this blue in the blue area or whatever color you're doing, just so it blends in nicely. Okay, so go in one direction. Come back in the other direction. And then you can trim with your scissors. And then the coffee cozy is complete. So you can kind of straighten things out a little bit. It looks very, very pretty. Nice stitch pattern. Okay, so at one end we have a loop that we'll be buttoning it onto. At the other end, if we bring it together like this, we'll have our button. Now I have a little fall leaf button because I think that's pretty. Whatever you have on hand, definitely use that. I'm gonna use the same blue so it matches everything. And I have a smaller needle that um, uh, will fit through my button holes. So just take a little bit of matching yarn, thread your tapestry needle, and just sew it right on. Remember the loop is at one end and the button is at the other. So just come up from behind and then back down. You can do this a couple times if you like. I'm gonna do it one more time. Come up from the back and go back down. Okay, then you can flip it over and then just tie it to secure and then you can weave in those ends. Okay, so we have our button on there and then just go ahead and weave the ends in. So our cute little fall themed coffee cozy is complete. I went ahead and put it on a cup. And if we turn it, we can see that it kind of buttons up like a little jacket. We have a little 
uh, fall leaf on there. We've edged it. It looks very, very pretty. And the linen stitch really shows off all these pretty fall colors. So that is how you crochet the Autumn Stroll Coffee Cozy. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.